Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. As someone who's literally 100% full-blown obsessed with all things space, Hey, SpaceX! <laughs> I get asked all the time for good gift ideas for fans of space and spaceflight and rockets. So I put together an awesome list of my favorite space things, and just to make it super easy for you or someone buying for you, there's links in the description to every single item. But full disclosure, some of those are affiliate links that can financially contribute to the show. But there is no sponsorships in this video. This is just stuff that I love, stuff that I literally use or wear every single day, and or stuff that you see in the backgrounds of my videos. So, that being said, let's get started. Three, two, one. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. So first up, of course, we have probably one of my all-time favorite space things to come out in the past couple years, and that's the LEGO Saturn V. Now this thing is pretty expensive, but it's actually a pretty good deal when you look at the like dollar per brick uh, aspect of it. Um, but that being said, it's a ton of fun to put together. I literally ordered this the second it went online, and of course, the minute it came in, I got so excited to build it. Um, but the, the fun thing about this is it's also a really good display piece. So I have it out in the background of my videos. You've all seen it a thousand times, um, but I just think this thing is super cool. And some of the things that I really love about this set is it's 1,969 pieces, which is of course 1969, which is the year that the Saturn V took humans to the moon for Apollo 11. Um, it's just gorgeous. And it also has this really cool book. Uh, this thing is absolutely guaranteed to bring a smile to any space flan, space flan, space fan, or Lego enthusiast face. So maybe you're a fan of models of rockets, but you don't want to put them together. So here's another option. Now this is a little bit more expensive than the Lego Saturn V, uh, but it's insanely detailed. And that's because this is 3D printed and handmade by Buzz Space Models. And my friend Ollie Braun actually does the modeling and literally like does it all 100% individually. It's just absolutely crazy. These things are crazy high detail. They're also really fragile and scary, but I am obsessed with these. Um, but fair warning, if you're looking to try to get your hands on these before uh, this holiday season, you're probably out of luck. He is very, very behind because of the insane demand for these things. Um, so you better get your name on that waiting list, uh, place your orders and just kind of wait patiently but here we are, these things are gorgeous and you've obviously seen them in the background of like every one of my videos. So there you go, buzzspacemodels.com. Speaking of things you see in my videos, people do ask me about my telescope all the time. And here's a funny story. To be perfectly honest, I only bought this thing because it's really, really pretty. And I wanted to use it for some everyday astronaut photos. So here it is, this is actually a Celestron. It's a, a brass telescope and uh, yeah, it looks really pretty. And a funny story, I honestly hadn't looked through it at all until this summer. And I've had this thing for almost three years. Uh, I finally did look through it and I went out one night. We had four planets in the sky. We had Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus. And uh, I got hooked once I looked through and with my own eyeballs, I saw the rings of Saturn. I don't know, there's something about it when it actually clicks and you really see it with your own eyes. You're not looking through a screen or anything else. It was amazing, and now I'm really into this, and I have taken it out several, several times since. Yeah, telescopes. Great gift idea. Okay, so remember that whole I didn't touch that telescope for three years thing? Well, too bad this book didn't exist when I was first starting to get into it. This is the Universe Today's Ultimate Guide to Viewing the Cosmos, Everything You Need to Know to Become an Amateur Astronomer. Now, this was written by my friend Fraser Kane of Universe Today and David Dickinson. And this is exactly what I would have needed a few years ago when I was too scared to get into astronomy. It's got lots of pretty pictures and um, it just literally spells out all that stuff that can be really intimidating, like observing meteor showers, like how to do that. Uh, things like the darkness of the sky and waxing and waning of the moon and planetary alignments and all those things that can be really intimidating. They just spelled it out and made it super easy. And now that I've gone through most of this book, 
I'm really excited more than ever to get this thing back out there and to also probably upgrade my telescope soon. So be careful with this one. Speaking of books, my friend Emily Calandrelli has a really good series for young readers that are interested in science, but maybe they don't even realize they're into science yet. Uh, it's a series called Add a Lace. I actually bought these for my niece, and so I don't actually have them on them, but I do own the whole series. And honestly, these are just absolutely perfect for aspiring scientists. But again, like I said, they don't have to know that they like science yet. She does a really good job of applying the scientific method and teaching all these principles that are scientifically aimed without really just like blasting it in their face. Uh, it's really, really cleverly written. Um, but my favorite part is it follows this young girl who is interested in the STEM field. So it can really help encourage uh, young children, but especially young women to go out there and pursue STEM, which I think is just awesome. This is a perfect book for young readers. Okay, but maybe you're an adult and you want a more wordy book that you can read, or in my case, listen to. I believe I've listened to this book three times on audiobook. That's of course, Ashley Vance's biography of Elon Musk. Now I know, I already get called an Elon Musk fanboy, but even if you don't care for Elon Musk or SpaceX, this is an absolute must read or listen to book. It's amazing. It really is the story that of Elon's life and where he comes from, his family, his history, um, the way he thinks and the way he operates. If you haven't read or listened to it, you need to. So speaking of nerdy SpaceX things, this next thing is probably one of my favorite things ever. This guy named Spencer reached out to me on Twitter and said, hey, I can laser cut things. And that kind of got my gears turning. And next thing you know, we came up with this idea to make some grid fin coasters. Now, the only problem is these are terrible coasters because they have holes in them, but uh, that's why I named them grid fin not a coasters. And they're therefore drink elevators and I can guarantee that they will keep your drink exactly this high off whatever surface you have them sitting on top of. Um, these are a lot of fun, they're really cool. We've already sold out of them over and over and over. We're having a really hard time keeping them in stock, but Spencer's basically running that laser machine full time so that we can try to keep them in stock during the holiday season. Uh, so good luck. And uh, I think this is gonna bring a lot of smile to, a lot of smiles to space fans' faces. Okay, now before this just turns into some kind of everydayastronaut.com slash shop infomercial. You get a Falcon 9, you get a Falcon Heavy, you get a Falcon 9. Why don't I just say this? If you haven't checked out my brand new web store, you really need to. And that's be not because it's me saying this, it's because literally like everything in my videos and everything that I wear from day to day is from my own store, this shirt included. Uh, this is of course an F1 engine off of a Saturn V. It's the schematics off of it. Um, this is now new in my web store. Uh, it's softer than ever and printed on a much higher quality print, which I'm really excited about. But I also have things like limited edition Buran shirts. While they last, we've kind of had to extend the pre-order selection because we completely sold out uh, in basically 24 hours. But I'm, I'm going to now run these through November 30th. Um, I will be doing limited edition shirts basically once a month. So if you want some of these, be sure and check back often. There's new shirts coming in all the time. There's lots and lots of new things. And another thing that I'm really excited about in this new shop is I have new prints, which are extremely high quality photo paper instead of just poster grade paper. Uh, they look a lot better. They're actually cheaper than they are compared to my old website. Uh, and obviously that way you can have lots of awesome space flight stuff up on your walls. So you can check those out. Again, the whole brand new shop, everydayastronaut.com slash shop. Check it out, check back often. I'm pretty excited about it. But speaking of prints and things to hang on the wall, say you're looking around on my website and you don't see like a particular launch that you maybe attended or like, or a certain rocket that isn't up on my website. There are some other awesome rocket photographers that I just wanted to give a quick shout out to that you should probably check out if you're looking for other print ideas. Uh, be sure and check out Trevor Malman, Brady Keniston, Ryan Chalinski, and John Kraus. Okay, now just in case I didn't give you enough ideas for things to put on your walls, maybe you have a lot of wall space. I don't anymore. Uh, this is one of those things that's in the background of all my videos, and these are star charts. And I think it's super cool. You can plug in an exact coordinates, an exact place, and a time and date, and they will put the night sky as it was 
on that time and place. So it could be anything like a birthday. Um, it could be you know a wedding site like like this for my wife and I. Um, it could also be say one of your favorite rocket launches that you saw or a special anniversary gift or something like that. These are really cool. Uh, you've probably seen them all over. I love these things. I just think it's a cool tie uh, to kind of the, the cosmos and us here down on Earth. Another thing are travel posters, which SpaceX has some, NASA also has some. Again, I've got their links in the description. I love these things. I think they look really, really good on walls. Uh, yeah, that's definitely another thing to check out for sure. Now, I'm sure you guys saw this one coming. This is a MOVA globe. These are absolutely incredible things. They spin with light, so light actually makes them spin. I think it's just straight up magic. They have tons of different planets and, and different things you can see in the sky, different maps and globes in different sizes, different price ranges. Um, they can get pretty expensive when you get the really big ones. I love these, I have a lot of them and they make really good gifts. They look really good out uh, and people will just stare at them. They will literally go over and just and stare at it for like five minutes. Anyone that comes into this office, that's the first thing they end up being drawn to. Uh, Mova Globes, yeah, straight up magic. Okay, now maybe you want something a little bit cheaper and a little less impressive, but still fun. How about these 3D printed moons? Again, this is one of those things, I actually did a photo series called My Best Friend Moon a couple years ago. And at the time I found this, it was like a one meter or half a meter or something, a really big giant 3D printed moon. And it was like thousands of dollars and I really wanted to use it in photos. I obviously couldn't afford that. So I ended up just photoshopping it into a bunch of pictures with me and a like kind of pet best friend moon thing. Uh, but now you can get these. They're really, really cool. I use this one as a nightlight. They come on a little stand. You can keep them plugged in if you want to. Uh, these are awesome. I do carry these in my web store, but only in this size. You can get them like way bigger, uh, but they can get pretty expensive. But I just love these. I think they make amazing night lights and they're great for all ages because they just are super, super cool. And next up we have maybe the hottest space thing of this year, and that's these Vans NASA Edition shoes. Uh, I had a really hard time getting a hold of these. I actually ended up buying three pairs for myself because this is just what I am obsessed with. They come in like orange, white, black, um, and high tops and low tops like these. Um, I kind of got some of everything. Uh, but good luck finding these before the holiday season. They like sold out right away. And I think, you know, if you look around on like eBay and Amazon, you'll be able to find these. But these make for, again, a really, really, really good gift. They're just super, super cool. I'm actually afraid to wear them because I don't want to ruin them. But I just love these. And of course, another good place to go to for any kind of space swag. Um, the SpaceX store is awesome. They have a ton of stuff, really great shirts, posters, um, just other merchandise like mugs and stuff. But you know, the other people that have equally good swag in my opinion is Rocket Lab. Um, they have awesome shirts. Again, awesome fun merchandise. Those are the, my two other just nerdy go-to stores. If you're just looking for some inspiration, SpaceX and Rocket Lab have awesome merchandise. Definitely check them out. And lastly, just in time for the holiday season, I finally did it. You guys have been asking for this for a long, long, long time. I finally got my music up online. Yay! You can just search Everyday Astronaut on any of your favorite platforms, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Music, any, wherever you listen to music, hopefully you'll find it. The album is called Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. It's just seven songs for now but you guys have been pushing me to do this for a long, long, long time, and I'm really excited, and thanks to you guys' support and encouragement, I finally did get it up online. Um, so yeah, so you can also check it out. I have it, there'll be uh, a video playlist here on YouTube, and I have videos in the background of the music. They aren't necessarily music videos, but they're meant more just for like, if you're chilling and hanging out, put that playlist on, and it'll just kind of repeat and have these like fun, visual background cues that line up with the songs and the feel of the song. Um, and this is good music if you're studying to be a rocket scientist, or if you're just on a road trip, or if you are building a rocket, or if you're just hanging out in space. Uh, I wrote this music for you to help uh, kind of set that tone, set that feel and that mood. So enjoy, and thanks for your support. Well, that's gonna do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space gift ideas down to Earth for everyday people. <laughs>